Hello, I am Dr. Sitish Kumar Kashi, presenting a topic Reservoir Planning for Runoff River Type Hydropower Plants. I work as a professor in civil engineering at Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. The learning outcomes. At the end of this session, the students will be able to compare different types of hydroelectric plants, discuss suitability of runoff river type hydroelectric plants, calculate pondage required in the reservoir used for runoff river plant to satisfy inflow and power generation pattern. This is a typical hydropower generation plant. Here there is a reservoir which is formed by this dam. This is a control gate. When we open the gate, water enters through this pen stock to this turbine. Turbine rotates and after transferring energy to turbine, water further moves to the downstream channel. The rotating turbine has a shaft. That shaft is rotated and then electricity is generated in electric generator and then it is transmitted. Now, let us very briefly discuss different types of hydropower plants. Hydropower plants can be of storage type hydropower plant, runoff fever type hydropower plant, pumped storage type hydropower plant and also tidal water hydropower plant. Now this is a well known storage type hydropower plant from USA that is the hydropower plant with Hoover Dam. This is a Hoover Dam a very big storage reservoir formed on the upstream side of this dam and it is utilizing a very big head available here and this is the hydropower generation station at the foot of the dam. In this season of high flows, the reservoir will be filled in and water will be used over the year for hydropower generation. So this is a speciality of storage type hydropower plants. Now this is example of Chief Joseph Dam from USA. This is runoff river type of hydropower plant. Now, the speciality of runoff river hydropower plant is such that major flow is passed through the hydropower plant and excess water which is available is passed over the spillways. So here you find the water passing through the hydropower generation plant as well as the additional water flowing through the channel. The reservoir which is formed here is comparatively very small as compared to storage type of hydropower plants. This is a power plant which is called as pumped storage power plant. In pump storage power plant, you will find there are two reservoirs. One is reservoir at higher elevation and another is the reservoir at the lower elevation. When your peak hours of demand are there, water from the upper reservoir is passed through the paint stock through the hydropower generation plants and electricity is generated. The electricity generated is fed to the grid and sold at the higher rates as compared to off peak hours. The water which is released from the upper reservoir will be stored in the lower reservoir and will not be allowed to go further in the river. And in off peak hours, the water which was released at the time of generation will be again pumped up and thrown in this upper reservoir. System does not have 100% efficiency, but the difference is managed by the rates at which power is sold. That's why you will find that pump storage type hydropower plants are also useful whenever we can manage the demand and supply of electricity in peak and off peak hours. At off peak hours, excess energy available in the grid is taken and it is used to pump the water from the lower reservoir to upper reservoir. This is La Rance tidal type hydropower plant in France. So here we find that here there is history and here there is a power plant. A reservoir is formed on this side. The level difference in between the reservoir and open sea at the time of high tide and low tide is used here for generation of electricity. So this plant site features the tidal range of 8.2 meter. This is the highest range in France. The capacity of this power plant 
that it can generate up to 540 gigawatt hours annually. It consists of 145 meter long barrage with 6 fixed wheel gates and 163 meter long dike and the basin area which is covered is 22 square kilometer. Power produced through this particular plant is generated by using 24 reversible bulb turbines of capacity 10 megawatt each. This is the another picture of the same hydropower plant. This is the open sea and this is the estuary and the level difference in between the open sea and the reservoir is used here. So here you find this particular reservoir is storing this water, it is at higher level whereas the, there is low tide in sea and the water is released to generate. Now let us discuss in details about the runoff river plant, the same example I am giving. So the characteristics of runoff river plant can be summarized like this. A small dam is usually built to create a head pond ensuring enough water entering the paint stop pipes. Water led to the turbines which are at lower elevation. Projects with pan pondage as opposed to those without pondage can store water for daily load demands. Many larger runoff river plant projects are now designed to a scale which have their generation capacity comparable to the traditional hydro dams. Let us compare the storage plant and runoff river plant. These are different in design. The traditional hydro dams store enormous quantities of water in reservoirs and sometimes it causes flooding. In contrast, runoff river plants do not have the disadvantages associated with big reservoirs. That's why they have less environmental impact. Advantages of runoff river plants, they can create sustainable energy minimizing the impact of surrounding environment and nearby communities. These plants give cleaner power, fewer greenhouse gases, less flooding due to big reservoirs. Without a reservoir, flooding of upper part of river does not take place and as a result, people remain living at or near the river and in existing habitations and these habitations are not flooded. Whereas there are some disadvantages also of this runoff river plants. The runoff river plant is considered as a uniform source of power. It has little or no capacity for energy storage and hence can't effectively coordinate the output of electricity generation to match the consumer demand. It means these are not as flexible as the storage plants because their storage is limited and they largely depend upon the runoff of the river. It thus generates much more power during times when river has high flows. But it generates much less power during drier summer months, that is the disadvantage. The sites are also not available in great number for this type of plants. Let us take few questions. A runoff river plant for hydropower generation is essentially a high head scheme, a low head scheme, medium head scheme or none of these. Second question, pondage requirement in hydropower plant includes the need to balance the varying demand, to compensate for wastage and spillage, to balance short term fluctuations in the flow, all of these. Let us see the answers. A runoff river plant for hydropower generation is essentially a low head scheme. Pondage requirement in a hydropower plant includes the need to balance the varying demand, to compensate for wastage and spillage, to balance short time fluctuation in the flow. Let us take one problem on pondage required for runoff river plant reservoir. A runoff river plant is to be constructed across a river at a site where net head of 22 meters is available on the turbines. The river carries a sustained minimum flow of 26 cubic as dry weather flow. Behind the power station, sufficient pondage is to be provided to supply daily peak load of demand with a load factor 70%. Assuming the plant efficiency of 58%, determine maximum generation capacity of the generators to be installed at powerhouse and the volume of pondage to be provided to supply the daily demand assuming daily demand pattern consists of average load for 21 hours and peak load for 3 hours. Let us go to solution. Let P be a power in kilowatt, let Q is a discharge in cubic, let H be the head in meters and eta is the efficiency. So this equation 
power p is given by equation p is equal to 9.81 into efficiency into discharge q into head h here efficiency we are given as 0 0.58 and q is 26 cubic with the head 22 meter one can calculate power p generated in kilowatt that is 9.81 into 0 0.58 into 26 into 22 that is 3251 kilowatt however we are given the load factor as 0 0.75 load factor is average load by p kilo so we equate this average load 3251 and then we find out the peak load so it gives you peak load as 4645 kilowatt now hence assuming there is no reserve capacity we have maximum capacity of generators to be installed as 4645 kilowatt which max matches with the peak excess water from pondage is drawn in order to meet excess demand for three hours when we need the excess power so let us find the difference between the peak demand and average demand it is 4645 minus 3252 so we need to generate additional 1394 kilowatt of power for three hours so let us find out excess discharge required for developing excess power so power p is 9.81 into eta into q into h now we want to generate 1394 kilowatt so additional discharge which is required is 11.15 cubic now this discharge has to be there for three hours so it is multiplied by the seconds of three hours and then we get this as 120400 cubic meters so in this way we calculate the reservoir storage capacity required for a raw fuel plant so these are the references which are used for drafting this presentation. Thank you.